Welcome to Model Horse Tag School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to talk about um, sculpting your own um, like uh, metallic items. Um, now I've shown you how to cast. So you make a silicone rubber mold of something, and then you can cast it so that you have, um, you know, you can make multiples of it out of acrylic. So. Uh, sometimes we sculpt out of you know leather, sometimes uh, sculpey, sometimes epoxy sculpt. But this is a different medium, and it's um, it's what jewelers use, and it's called lost wax casting wax. Okay, so it's jewelers wax is another way. It's a very hard wax, and you can use um, like a nail drill or files or dental picks to um, create whatever it is you're going to create. So I wanted to make um, a polo pony gag bit. Um, it's a ring that has holes that go through it uh, for um, a strap. So it ends up with two reins. You have one that connects to a strap that goes through here. And then the other rein um, actually goes on the ring and that gives the rider more leverage. Well, nobody w made this that I found, okay? It's a very obscure, I don't think very many people would buy this bit. So I carved it out of the wax. And um, so here's, you know, where I was able to hold it with the wax. And then I cast it, or I, I molded it in silicone rubber. And, um, the wax was too fragile to survive the molding process. So this is now what's considered my mother. So I went ahead and made two of them. And then, um, and then I cast them in silver. So I now have a gag bit. I, I don't think I'll be, these are, these are very delicate and um, I'll cast three and because of air bubbles, two out of three will actually work. Um, but this is how I got or made this uh, bit. And if it's something that you wanna do, you wanna make your own, I recommend sculpting it out of the um, this wax. It comes in different thicknesses. And I got this on Timu, it was a box. So you make it once and then you can just repeat it multiple times. So if there's a particular bit that you want, Pelham, uh, maybe a double bridal bit, anything like that, and you can't afford to buy them, you, you can make them. It's time instead of money, so you have to depend upon, you know, where are you at. Now, I will always keep these as mothers, um, and I put them into my little box that I have of all my different uh, um, trees and things um, that I use as mothers, and then... Um, if I ever have to remake my mold, I don't have to re-sculpt it because it did take time and I didn't get it right the first time. I had to do it a couple times before I was ready to, uh, to do the casting. So I hope that helps you. I want that on your radar for creativity purposes. Don't let you know money hold you back because you can get a whole bunch of this for you know what it would cost to buy one uh, pewter cast bit. All right, thank you for spending time with me today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and have a really good day.